who we really are is not depending or dependent upon how the body mind functions mm. somehow it seems like the play of the body mind has already been predestined somehow i don't know mm-hmm. many people may not be comfortable with this type of term mm-hmm. but it it mm-hmm. seems like somehow it's unfolding mm-hmm. by itself yes and the mistake seems to be when we identify as being responsible for this unfolding and if we who are the beingness we are the beingness mm-hmm. becomes identified with the instrument through which the beingness is expressing mm-hmm. and take this instrument and its unfolding play to be mm-hmm. what we are mm-hmm. then i see this is where the suffering comes mm-hmm. because then there is an imagined entity who is imagining that it is responsible for the unfolding mm. and somehow it seems to be true up to a point mm-hmm. that as you think so you seem to experience mm. is it but how i'm seeing it is even if there is an apparent imagined entity who is affecting the functioning the behavior or unfolding of the of the functioning that must be part of the total functioning also mm-hmm. you see and that that is just also happening and there's a deeper seeing in which the functioning includes all the separate instruments through which individualized dreaming seems to be happening as one total tapestry of dream entities dreaming their own unique dreams mm-hmm. as part of the manifestation and that is no single entity who can dream outside of the the instrument of consciousness everything is included in the consciousness something watches this consciousness something watches this consciousness yes mm. or you may say using the word something even not to say mm. something just mm. that the consciousness is also is watched. watched so uh, thereby it seems that which is observing the consciousness cannot be inside the box of the consciousness it cannot be inside mm. the crystal ball of the consciousness and the content and play of that consciousness it is something else consciousness is appearing in it mm. and this is perceiving the consciousness but it has no eyes mm. it has no ears no mm. lips it has no interest it has no no distance or dimension because these can only be qualities perceived in consciousness so that i call myself the true self of all sentient beings and what is expressed in the bubble of consciousness is my expression something is expressing mm-hmm. i don't seem to be expressing this um, intentionally but sometimes i have to sense that i'm expressing intentionally but it's part of that spontaneous expression somehow i'm not categorizing except when that feeling is there to categorize which can only be another sort of appearance inside the consciousness that is manifesting in me so all of this is going on by itself quietly without my mm. interference mm. and there is immense joy seems to be mm-hmm.